Good morning, Wayward Walker here and the Wayward Wagger. That would be him. So if he's noticed that this is a little jerky and being pulled around and stuff, that's why. But anyway, we are on the trolley trail again, uh, which we were on last week on our way to the Grand Trunk Trail. Well, it's the Southern New England Trail. We are on the other side of the Quinnamog River. And so this was the uh, south of the Worcester Consolidated Street Railway. And it's now a trail. We are coming up to the bridge abutments. What we are looking for, which should be over to our left, will be the um, abutments for the Southern New England Trail. We are on the east side of the river, which has come all the way down from East Brimfield Holland Road. And evidently this is public area, so I never thought it was. And oh, there's that Jack's interest over there. So I don't know what they're doing here. Obviously they are gonna do something. What they're gonna build a bridge? Huh. Let's see if we can figure that out. But anyway, so this is the bridge abutment. Now, the reason, the real reason I'm here, is I'll show this to you, but um, supposedly, I can't remember, I ran across this video of the Southern New England Railroad. I'm going to get Jack over this. Um, but, or just because, supposedly, there are some old wooden pilings here that were used uh, on this crossing for the southern New England. Oh, look at, we have a, something floating in here. A scrap beaver. I got something sort along there. All right, let's go. Uh, so anyway, supposedly there is a piling here. Come on. Anyway, supposedly there's a piling, wooden piling here for the that was on the abutment. So what I'm going to do is try to get Jack over this fence. I'm going to stop you. We're going to look at it. The reason that I'm very interested in that is my last video, I was looking for another section of this and I came across one section that looks like it goes along the river and, or not the river, the stream, and it looks like some pilings were put in there. So I'm trying, I don't know if they were from the SNE or something else. So I'm gonna see if they match um, this. So I'm gonna stop you and we'll be back. All right, we ran over that fence. And if this is uh, where the abutment is, and I have every reason to believe it is, uh, I don't think we're going to see much. Something just, um, hold on, I just turn around for the dog. Something just splashed in the water over there, I don't know if you heard it. I don't turn it off. I think it was a beaver. Alright, Jack, I don't think this is going to work. I certainly don't see anything. We're probably going to have to come through the other, skunk through the other side, which I really didn't want to do. But we'll probably have to. All right, we'll shut you off again, and we're gonna follow the grade back that way. Well, it looks like we're not gonna go very far this way either. 
those pilings. Let's talk about that's the piece of the video that didn't uh, evidently I forgot to record because I do that and they were pretty large and out of wood. We can go that way and I don't think I want to fight with that. Especially because I got the dog. Um, but anyway, I want to see if it looks like the ones I saw. And I will be hopefully getting back there Wednesday to video that other section that I did not video because I want to also walk down that whole thing and see where it ends up see where it goes all right so this is apparently the the bed I can't go any further I'm gonna go back to the trolley trail which is right over there and see if I can cross in another spot and get back on this bed but we'll be back all right, Jack and I have found a little cross, a little cross trail here. And this almost looks like could be. I gotta turn around again. I'll go slow. Come on, Jack. Could be where the bed was, or no way, no way I can tell up here. Obviously, four wheel would have been through here. This could be the southern England, but there's a, a left handed fork kind of thing that goes over off there, which could be the trolley, and this could be the that I walked in could be the grand truck. So we're gonna go up here and see what we find. Large bowl right there, and glacial erratic, as they call them. All right, also could have been used as a sand pit, gravel pit. I don't know. Also, so long as it's just been dug up like all over here. So this is kind of inconclusive. The little branch that went off to the left back there a little bit. Almost looks like it could have been a bed. A real bed. I'm almost back to the truck. So let's keep a look on each side, see if you see anything. It looks like a bed either over there or over here. So they did run pretty close together. When they're up further up is where you'll see where they cross the, what's now the East Burnfield Register, Register Reservoir. And we've been on over there, I don't know if we did a video on it or not, but so I'm looking through some of my old videos to see what, what I've taken. Um, I don't know if I'll come back or not, some of these. But each time I come out and come out to these places, I always seem to find something new. I think a lot of that's just because I know more what I'm looking for now than I used to. But anyway, when I'm back to the truck, I'm not seeing anything. It looks like another bed either to the left or the right. That could possibly be a little low in, but anyway, this trail kind of goes through this big field up here behind my truck, crosses uh, East Burnfield Holland Road, and goes into the water. And we'll get a picture of that on the way out. The, uh, where the bed was and then I tried to find a way because there's a nice section along the water and I'd love to get over there unfortunately from what I'll call the land side there's no access anywhere that's posted 
land. However, it's not posted on the water side. So I may try to uh, get myself borrow a canoe and uh, paddle over there and see if there's access. All right, let me uh, Uh, it's hard to tell. I don't tell it's over there. That's a bit of not. I also walked over there. It was like We're gonna head out, we're gonna head up to the next spot. I think I'm gonna go up to the trail on the other side that we just saw. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. And we are on Five Bridge Road. Jack, remind me sometime when we come down Five Bridge Road to see if there's five bridges. Never check that. I always wanted to. I always forget. Anyway, we're coming up to the junction of the Trolley Trail, the Southern New England Trail, aka Grand Trunk Trail, and Five Bridge Road, which is right up ahead of us. We're on Five Bridge Road. We are on the other end, which is in East Brookfield. Now we were on Five. Bridge Road in our last video, but we're up the other, we put him up on the other end. Uh, and then we actually followed Five Bridge Road, Road, we found all that stuff down in Brimfield. All right, so what I'm gonna, Brimfield at the Holland. And I've learned some interesting stuff too. But that section of Holland, that's gonna be subject of another video. But you know, some old ruins up there and to find out there's quite a little uh, center a commerce center um, in Holland time was known first known as Southburg Field before it was incorporated as Holland but that's for another video so we are gonna go uh, right, see the fiber draw goes that way and then it takes a Big left, and remember we went up the road right over the Mill Brook, and uh, we can go this way, Jack. Uh, there's a bridge up there. Anyway, this time we are going to go heading in the other direction. We're going to follow this southern New England up to the end. See if we can see those piers. So if there's anything else that we come across, I will uh, put the camera back on. Otherwise, just uh, use your imagination. It's pretty flat, pretty straight. It's, uh, bend in this section. Oh, I also learned that this whole section over there. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video. Probably not, because I found out about it later. That is also known as the Great Swamp over there. That's what it's called. Old maps, anyway. So that area always was swampy. As you can see, if you look right, keep looking through there, see all the reeds. All right, so we're gonna keep walking, stop talking. Jack and I are gonna be back when we get to the end of the trail. Okay, well, I guess we're not gonna get quite to the river. We're at the end of the, where we can navigate anyway, but you can see the cut goes through there. The trolley trail's right over there. I'm just gonna go see where this little road goes to. I don't remember ever seeing this. Well, because I wasn't looking for it. Let's see this takes us. Then we'll head up along the trolley trail and see if we can uh, see those piers. I wonder if this ties into one of the other roads that just zigzags all across this whole area here. Oops, the bench here. I don't know, have any idea what trail this is. Where it's going to take me. But as you can see, 
great swamp all through there. Okay, let me stop, take, take a look at the map, and figure out where I'm going. The river is just right in front of us. I guess some of those bushes. It looks like they took some gravel or something under there. Well, that was the foundation. Beautiful day. I think spring is coming. Just around the corner, as they say, because I'm seeing signs. See my first uh, piece of swamp cabbage. poking through the ground. Yeah, I'm hearing birds. Alright, I'm gonna stop. See where this trail is gonna lead me. I don't want to stray too far. I'm trying to stay on task. We'll be back. Hold on. Okay, I stuck on that road. Just came around a big bend and it's gonna hook up with the other trail, evidently. I just wanted to show you this picture or this this here. This is a cross. And this girl was abducted, unfortunately, is where they found her body. And I remember that because my daughter was the same age as she was. It's called the Southern New England Connector Trail, something like that. Southern New England, I don't know. But it wasn't the Southern, Southern New England Railroad. So we're just going to keep heading. Don't know which bed I'm on. We'll figure it out. We'll be back. Okay, this came off Charlie Trail, and this is the Grand Trunk Trail here. It was cut through here, and I think I saw more of it back that way. Um, I don't know where it crossed that other road we were on, but well, this is definitely the Grand Trunk here. And I think we're almost to the end. Charlie Trail is still right there. You know, I'm looking, every time I come down here, see this, any part of the SNE, I always think that, um, first I would have think it would have been a beautiful trip. But then I think, unfortunately, there would have been a lot of maintenance required in this road because there's a lot of areas that get flooded out. But, I guess that's how it goes. So we're gonna go up here. It looks like we're gonna hook back up the trolley trail. That's pretty nasty over there. So I'm gonna try to get through there. I don't think that's the river. I'm not sure. I think it's just the pond. I don't know if I tell. I'll look at my map again. We're gonna be stopping up here anyway. Get a little break. So this is still a grand trunk here. And you notice there's even walls on this end of it. See a few of them. Uh, Alright. Back almost to the end. Okay, we've come to the river. Well, I can see that piling, but that looks nothing like the ones that uh, I'm interested in. Put the one here. So that's where we were before. These piles are pretty well rotted out. Can't really see them over there. Can't really tell how big they were. The other ones, oops, Jack's pulling me. The other ones we saw were um, quite large. They could be. Same size, I don't know. All right, so that's the trolley trail up there. We're gonna cross and go up to the pilings just so we can have a look at the other side. And I have to figure out if I can jack over this again. We did last time on the other side. All right, okay, Let's see where we're uh, going to this trail. This is the trolley trail, trolley tracks. That's where we were before. So I'm curious if they're going to build a bridge here. It'd be very nice if they do. And this is going to connect all of us. It's such a nice trail. I mean, it's a nice trail with the trail now. 
trail worth the trail. But it'd be even nicer. The bridge. So I'm gonna go down that hill. So this is it. See that piling over there? Not as huge by the looks of it as the ones that we saw. Well, you haven't seen them because I forgot to push the button. But we'll be there this week. It looks like the bee just done his patrol, muskrat, whatever that was. Alright, so we're going to head back down the trolley trail. I don't expect to see much. There we all uh, That big cut I saw. I'm not sure which trail that was. Just tend to get a little confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already dazed and confused. It uh, makes it a lot harder. Maybe they just put this in. Hold on, Jack. Hold on. Take a picture. Yes, hold it there. Not sure what. All right, we're going to move on. And uh, zoom back in. All right, we're almost back to the truck. I'm going to shoot this in the waterfall here for you. Recent culvert, I guess. Been there a long time. I don't know what's up in those woods. I don't know what is that. But we're almost back to the truck. It's going to go up to that gate up there. And I think it's going to be it for today. I was going to go one more place, but I think I'll save that. Get some more bits and pieces of the trail. None of them are going to be very long, so I'll probably just put one video with that. And I will be getting to that section and hall in the burnt field that I filmed, but I didn't. So we'll see you then. Get outside. Enjoy. Enjoy the fresh air. And, you know, it's just beautiful out here. You gotta get out and see it. I'm telling you. Before it's too late. All right, well, Jack obviously is more of a hurry than I am, so we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Jack.